Good morning. So currently I am in the Yorkshire Dales. Uh, we arrived here uh, last night and yeah, brought the gravel bike with me as you can see and I'm about to go and do the Yorkshire Dales gravel epic route. So the route is 90 kilometers of gravel and um, it's going to be about 95k by the time I get to the start from where we're stopping. Unfortunately there's a storm on the way, Storm Kathleen. So around 11 o'clock onwards the wind is going to pick up so i just want to get it uh yeah smashed and get it done get back as soon as possible before the storm comes in so yeah let's uh, see how we get on and uh, let's have some fun eh? hey love goodbye goodbye Bellaboo. goodbye goodbye bye. Yeah, well, uh, have fun yeah you too bye, bye. bye. Mm. Oh. Come on. Go out of it. So one thing with the Yorkshire Dales is there's lots of uh, army activity here. As you can see, there's a red flag. And you'll probably be able to hear gunshots in the background. So basically there's a uh, lab army fire here. Maybe a tank. So we'll see if we can see anything. But yeah, we don't want to be crossing over uh, that wall today, that is a fact. So I've just made a little stop and come across this little bovy in the bottom of this uh, valley that you've just seen. How cute is this? A few chairs, a bit of firewood, makeshift bed and a grotty old sofa. I'd stop in this for the night. It's awesome. Thank you. 
a little update. I seem to have been climbing this road for oh, a good four or five kilometers now. And there's hardly a drop of wind. I've even managed to get the drone up. I kind of felt it's back wind most of the ride so far. So I'm either gonna face a load of headwind coming back when this storm comes in, or we may get away with it, hopefully the latter. But looks like we're coming to the top of this hill now, and it's slow going. This is gravel, isn't it? And uh, one thing gravel has taught me is just to slow down in life a little bit, take in the scenery. And this is why I love this format, this discipline of cycling, because you just get to see this beautiful countryside that we're fortunate enough to live in. So, yeah. A bit more road to go and hopefully we'll hit some more gravel and uh, yeah so far it's absolutely stunning and I'm absolutely loving life right now. We're doing our first bit of hiker bike of this ride. <sighs> very steep, but it's very wet on the ground as well. It's not really gravel, it's more gravelly mud. I'll have a look. And we're heading all the way up there, across, up, and over the top, back the way we came. Yep. So. Still not very windy. I can feel it, and the higher I'm getting, the more it's picking up. But I suggest this storm's not just here just yet. Oh yeah, loving it so far. It's nice to see all the little lambs, and yeah, the show must go on. biking again and probably be to hear the wind howling up here now so obviously the eye we're getting up the more we're uh, getting exposed to it but this thing even though it's on a mountain bike I won't get up this it's an absolute wall real chunky gravel yeah I apologize if the audio's poor 
it'll be nice to uh, get riding again. an update I've kind of like doing a little climb now and there's not a drop of wind which is absolutely crazy literally not a breath of wind but I've had to well I didn't have to but I wanted to cut out two sections I could see on the map there was like little I guess gravel climbs over some fells uh, I'll show you on the map but I kind of cut them out. The reason being is they went over the tops and quite frankly, it was quite dangerous riding up there. Uh, done some dumb shit in my time, but as we get older, we get a little bit more measured. As we get older, we get a little bit more measured and uh, yeah, took the wise decision just to cut it out. At the end of the day, come for a bit of fun not to get injured so not sure how long the uh, ride will be now but it's absolutely beautiful still and yeah let's enjoy the rest of this ride oh it's a big hill it's a big hill indeed
bit of an update. Back to hiker biking, coming over a fell, and when I looked a minute ago, it actually said 66%, which is crazy. Nowhere, even a motorbike won't get up that. But I've just got to get over that thing. As you can see, the storm is coming in. Trying to beat that moody sky home now. Uh, I don't feel bad at all for cutting out those bits because I'd get definitely stuck in that. So let's just get over this thing and get back, shall we? And uh, woo! Get in front of that log burner, right? Let's go. As you saw this building coming up, it's sort of a sort of a bobby. And if you are not from the UK, you maybe don't know what a bobby is, but in Scotland, in Wales, Yorkshire Dales, and these real remote places, uh, we have these like little buildings, outbuildings, and it's so you can kind of like get out the elements or if you get caught short in a storm like I probably might do soon you can come in here and uh, just rest but the main for people like uh, campers so people are doing like multiple day walks and stuff like that but what they always have in them is fires so I don't know if you can see that so they've left some fire lighters open fire and some wood I appreciate it. it's really dark, but yeah, uh, they've left a bin in here, but yeah, if this storm gets any worse, I'd uh, certainly be comfortable saving my life in here overnight, that is a fact, but yeah, there's a little bit of uh, bovy information for you, is that right? But yeah, make sure we close the door, keep it dry in there, and maybe in So this one, it's got table and chairs in here, again, got another fireplace and some more logs so you can keep warm, some fire lighters, and we've got a stuffed grouse in here, so yeah, great isn't it, bit of a uh, bit of bother history for you. Right, not much to go. Let's get cracked on.
stuck. Yeah. All right, man. Not being funny, like, but why would you drive a transit van to the top of this? Do it in a bloody road. I want a tea. Oh. Well, as you could see, that was eventful, but we're back now. We've got the fire on, and we've got a nice steaming hot bowl of Yorkshire Preserve roast chicken soup. Nice cup of Yorkshire tea, because remember, if it's not from Yorkshire, it's shite. <laughs>